When people think of Grand Champ, 90% overestimate how mechanical they need to be. So in this video, I'm going over the easiest play style you can use to rank up, plus the only few mechanics that you'll need in order to pull it off. This is episode 16 of the Road to SSL series. Also, if you're new here and don't know me, what's up? My name's Luke, and I'm currently recording this from the ER. Apologies for the beeping. Long story short, I have a blood clot right here in my lungs. I've been here for like seven of eight of the last days, uh, but thanks to YouTube editing magic, nobody even knows. And the second I got admitted, I was thinking about, you know, what jokes I could make in a YouTube intro about this in order to kind of brush it off so that way people wouldn't be upset about me not uploading. I was going to say something about being speechless, but for whatever reason, I couldn't find the words. Okay, too soon. <laughs> but in all seriousness, my team just told me that uh, since I haven't been uploading YouTube videos, we haven't been selling coaching. Last video I made, we had 12 spots left, and now we have 74 spots for coaching. So uh, if you want to support me or my team or their hospital bills, I just ran payroll and we're kind of struggling out here. So my team told me what we're gonna do is anybody who joins within the next 24 hours after this video goes live, we're gonna give you guys $100 off the price of admission. So if that sounds interesting, DM me on Discord with the keyword, um, with the keyword help. God, okay, I gotta stop with the hospital jokes. This, this isn't, this probably isn't funny. I'll have my Discord, first link down in the description below. Click the link to DM somebody on my team with the keyword help, and we'll see if we can help you uh, rank up and get you some coaching or something like that. We're getting into the games. Um, I, okay, we're playing with Zach this and we're lagging. Oh my God. And we're demoed. All right, this is gonna be a episode. For sure. This is going to be at least be a episode. Well, he's hitting the ball off the wall. Soft touch. I'm just going to hit it high and awkward. I don't know if he's going, but I know I can follow this up. And see, this is the great thing about me playing with lag. Because I'm lagging so bad from playing on stream, I just have to play based on rules and principles that are good to rank up. I don't even know what they're doing. So I'm just going to play on autopilot without even being able to react to what they're doing. This is this is my favorite part about the road deaths as well. Like, see, like, I'm, all, I'm like a half a second behind, but it's fine. He messes up his touch, so I'm going to turn and go as quick as possible. And try to center this to my teammate. I get bumped, so I'm just going to rotate back and around. Let my teammate go, grab half boost, and turn mid. And here, we're just going to sit and wait. My teammate is completely flopping, so I'm just going to wait for half boost to come and get in shadow position. Notice how my car is facing backwards, because I'm just going to buy time for my teammate here. There's no threat. So I'm just buying time for my teammate, not hitting the ball away. Keyword, not hitting the ball away. Notice how I get a soft touch, but even then, I'm not hitting it away entirely. Um, my teammate is back. He's making the save. Good. So we're just going to chill back post, wait till he takes the ball out. And now that the ball's out, we rotate along this long hook boost lane and we come mid. My teammate, I don't know what happened. I think he got a demo, so I just score it. All right. 2-0. Two, two, two this guy wins back for corner boost. So I'm just going to hit it high so he's got an awkward bounce to deal with. And that at least forces him to hit it away. I'm still scared of this guy hitting the ball. Now, this is where it sucks to have the ping that I currently have. Like, that, those one-on-one -on -one situations, it's not great to have infinite ping. Okay, ball comes center, though, and it's going to be a jump ball. I want to take control. I'm going to get one soft touch and then a hard touch. And notice, notice, I don't have much boost. So what do I go for? Bounce dribble. Soft touch, get the ball closer to the net. Of course, he's a GC1, so he's not going to play back post. And because he doesn't play back post, you just shoot it back post and the ball goes in. What a concept. I don't know where he's going to be because I'm lagging so bad, but I do know hit the ball back post, things go well. He's asking for give us nine seconds. Bro, I'm the one that's pinging out. Oh, that guy was AFK. All right, wait, I'm going to give him nine seconds. Nine, eight. Okay. All right, resume. Trying to give him nine seconds. He didn't even let me give him nine seconds, bro. Well, he's just skying it. All right, permission to get mechanical. Access granted, chat. Look at his first touch. Fake. Woohoo! All right, 4 0 in favor of better at coaching and Zactus the Cactus. And looks like this game got out of hand. BKM just gave up on the blue team. I'm lagging so bad, and we're still... All right, ground air dribble chat. That is not a good setup, but it works. 
I'm lagging so bad. Alright, Zach, this I apologize. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to take the ball off him. GG! Game one! On to game two. Alright, game two. I'm playing with third third. Let's get it. All right, ball's going to go into the corner. I'm going to push forward here and just apply pressure. I'm just trying to force ball off the car, so that way he has to make a bad touch. My teammate might recenter this, so I can be there, and that'll be a goal. Great pass by the teammate. Just by being up on the field, I force a bad touch. Um, I force him to clear it to my teammate. My teammate's in good position, recenters to me, and that's textbook. All right, so we'll cheat up. 1-0. Ball's going to go back to him. He'll have touch. Oh, my teammate gets a great dunk, so I can maybe go in. I don't know if he'll have a touch here. Ah, uh, that's my bad. I, I got super disoriented. That's my fault. I, I've got the touch pass one. Didn't see the second coming. I realized I got the first beat, and then, yeah, that's bad. That's bad on my part. Shouldn't be doing that. Should have just gone for the shot right away. Should have got a soft touch, and then quicker on the follow-up. Cheat up here. Ball will be a dead 50, so I can maybe sneak a shot in from behind. Can't quite get it, but I can grab his corner boost. And actually be a nuisance off the wall. No, I don't have time. My teammate should have easy, though. Great clear from the teammate. I'm going to play slightly center. He might get beat. My teammate gets a great dust. Unfortunately, got slightly spun out. Going to let him make a tip up. Not too scared of it. And I'm going to keep letting them toss ball. Uh, my teammate wants it, so I'll, I'll let him have. I just got to watch shot now. He, he puts the ball wide so I can play it out now. And now it's just free. GC1. How do you score goals? It's still people over committing. It's still over. The easiest way to score goals, just... Second man, positioning too greedy. You get one simple clear out, and you just take the ball down the field. Free goal, 2-1. I get a free beat on one guy. I'm going to grab their corner boost, and I'm going to spike this ball into the top of the ceiling and then rotate out so that even if my teammate misses the shot, as one does, I've now put it in an awkward situation, and we'll be fine. Oh, my teammate missed flips, but we're cool. Uh, and is that just in? He might panic here. No, he doesn't. He gets a nice tip. I'm just going to continue to control all these boosts. And eventually, they're going to toss ball. Nice. They toss ball here. So I'm just going to cut this to the right now. And I'm back for a shot. And eventually, because we're, we're winning the boost game, I just have to make one good first touch. And then they, they're in an awkward spot. They overcommit. And we get a goal. All right. Kickoffs are going good. <laughs> of course. Shouldn't have said kickoffs are going good. I got to watch shot here, play back post. He hits it center, so I'm just going to pop a clear downfield. I saved the neutral jump there to get a clear, and these guys look awkward, so I'm going for demos now because we have so much time now. You might look at that and be like, Luke, why are you being so greedy on demos? We have so much time there, and they were so awkward that demos make sense. I'm not scared of any play from them. Um, I actually messed up my flip there. We should have been worse off, but instead, this is bouncing center. It's not going in, but instead we're fine. I should have scored there, though. Or we should have got scored on, and then I should have scored. Uh, I wish my teammate would have passed the ball back there, but that's fine. Can play back here. I just got to watch shot now. He misses, luckily. Oh, my teammate, unfortunately, gets a double. Uh, I got to keep this in the corner as best as possible, and I want to get to the back post here. want to get to the back post, allow my teammate to go. It looks like I'm going to have time to get back corner. So now we're fully juiced, and my teammate should have. He's going to take it over one. That guy might have a clear, so I'm just going to wait. And now I just need to buy time. This is bouncing up. Just need to jump and pre predict the shot coming. The only way they score there is if his shot goes in. So as long as I cover his shot, we're fine. Now I got to control our corner boost so they can't they can't uh, boost starve us. And we should be fine. He's going to have a weak touch even if he beats my teammate. My teammate gets a great dunk, but I can't go here until my teammate rotates out. Um, so I'm just playing. I'm, I'm just buying time. Now I need to shadow and just block a shot. We should be fine. We're so fine. So I'm going to grab boost and move back. They just They're pushed up too far, so they can't take a quick enough shot. Um, their second man positioning is just poor like and and now this their second man positioning is still poor like you can't position like this as second man so he's so he's put they're always pushed so far up on offense so they can't follow up the ball and then because they're pushed up so far on offense if we break away quickly we get free goals so you wait they need to wait back for their second man needs to be more patient on offense and more, uh, and, and a little bit closer on, and, and 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 that will allow him to save the ball on defense. But we're fine. I'll just play middle here. I'm gonna play high touch off the wall. I wanted to follow it up, but I didn't have a great angle. 
Once again, we're in GC, and what are people doing? They're still just booming possession to the corner. This is so bad. And the second man's pushed up too far again. It's, in, it's, it's like literally the same things over and over again. Boom ball into corner. Push up too far as second man. Rinse, repeat. Like, that's, that's literally it. Teammate clears it right to the center. I'm going to put it into the corner <laughs> to be safe. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to play this here. Just forcing a center. Nice. Not jumping so that way I can recover and get that corner boost before their second man. And now I just got to take my time. I'm actually going to fake this because we have so much time and then pass to the teammate who is rotating. And if my teammate's center, that's a free goal, but we cool. Uh, I'll just play back. And now I shadow because it's a 2v1. I just want to buy time. And what do they do? They throw the ball into the corner. They toss possession for no reason. You have no angle. Even if he puts the ball on net, they're just throwing ball into the corner. It's impossible to attack when you set yourself up like this. One touch up, and guess what? One soft touch, one hard touch, goal. Like, it's it's the same thing. Like, people ask, like, how do I rank up past Diamond, Champ, GC? I'm doing the same things I was doing at Champ 1, right? Like, it's not mechanics. It's consistency, but it's 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 doing the basics, right? It's like it's not new stuff. It's doing the basics better. Soft touch. Guess what? Hard touch. Like that. that, that that's what's happening every rocket repleter. I just got an award. Um, but it's the same thing every time, chat. But we'll we'll rotate out. Carry on. Play half. He's gonna clear it to the side. Just get a good 50. Permission to get mechanical because we're so far ahead. Hopefully permission granted. <laughs> I mess up the flick and it still works. <laughs> Terrible musty. See, I don't have mechanics. You don't need mechanics. And that is game two. On to game three, chat. On to game three. I'll cheat up. Looks like we're playing with a season two supersonic legend. Ball's going to go to the side. And I'm going to assume you don't have mechanics. So I'm going to make a soft touch down and then try to hit it. I missed my touch, but I can look for a demo. I got caught on the edge of the wall. That happens a lot. So you got to be careful of that. Um... This is poor positioning for me. This is bad positioning for me. I shouldn't be playing like this. This is really greedy. I see the guy there. I saw Vasavi greeted for corner boost. So I pushed up quicker than I should. Um, but generally, you shouldn't play that aggressive. That was bad positioning for me. We could have got punished there. I got I got lucky that the ball came center. Here, I'm going to play back post and wait. Uh, my teammate gets a good 50. This is going to go into the corner. I just want to control it to the corner boost. And now... Maybe do a ground to air dribble pass one. And now I'm just trying to 50 him. Nice. We get a good 50. And we can shoot backwards. That is mechanical. But like I'm just. I'm just. It's it's not that clean. I'm just trying not to. Uh uh oh. Uh oh. We've been spotted. All right. Don't move chat. Say nothing. Say nothing. Um, teammate gets a good 50. Ball will come to me. I'm just going to make a soft touch forward. This is going to put me in a good shot to shoot, spot to shoot. He gets a nice save. Impressive. Um, I'm looking for a demo here. He looks stationary, so I'm just going to grab that demo. And my teammate saves it. He saves it. I can grab boost. I want to look for another demo. This guy is not playing the game. Whoa! And they're just gone. Imagine. Okay, chat. Imagine this. Imagine this. Imagine this. The first guy we queue into in the series with a Season 2 Supersonic Legend tag, the first guy we queue that has an SSL tag, what does he do when he gets the ball in open space? Somebody replay that. What does he do when he gets the ball in open space? He does an air dribble. The Champ 2's air dribble in those situations. What does he do? He bounce dribbles and he scores. Imagine, chat. Amazing, right? I hope you guys are as amazed as I am. Now this kind of is just a bummer for this guy. Say hi. Road to SSL. My cover is blown, so now I can say hi to him. Can't forfeit yet. Will that be game three? Is that enough for game three? Chat, say bye YouTube and tell them to watch the next video in the series if it's live right here. Click the next vid. Yes. There you go. Tell him to click the next vid. Tell him to watch the next vid. Amazing. Thank you, Twitch chat. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next one.